But as the NFL draft draws near, the city of Detroit is starting to transform. Building that stage near Campus Martius, work crews fanned out across the, the city rather to tell the world Detroit is here and ready for business. Rod Maloney shows us how we're rolling out the welcome mat. For the better part of a year now, we have had the draft clock here in downtown Detroit to remind us all when the big day is coming. But now as the clock winds down to zero, we're getting to that point where out of towners are coming to town and we need to give them an appropriate welcome. This sign on eastbound I-94 in southwest Detroit's the largest of a half dozen green and white city themed road signs they're installing along Detroit's entry points. The letters here are eight feet tall, the pedestals two more feet, letting the world know Motown is here and draft ready. The other five signs are a bit smaller and are going to stand on wooden poles. Eva Torres lives in southwest Detroit and worked with City Hall on the project. It's extremely emotional. This is the neighborhood in which I grew up. To her, the sign, along with the ongoing roadside cleanup, is the kind of beautification she's always hoped southwest Detroit would see. To be showcased in this form and fashion, um, I just, I, I, feel, I feel proud and happy. Um, it's just, it's so exciting. It really is. The city is spending roughly $400,000 with the Detroit based Fairmount Sign Company on these signs. And while unusual, it's certainly not the first time we've seen football alter Metro Detroit's permanent landscape. Back in 2006, Wayne County rebuilt the bridge over I-94 at Telegraph, incorporating footballs in the superstructure as a welcome to Super Bowl fans. Detroit Deputy Chief Operating Officer Jessica Parker said the Michigan Department of Transportation transportation and activists like Eva Torres held significant sway in getting these signs installed. We partnered with the neighbors. We wanted to make sure that they had input. We wanted to um, include them with this process so that it's not just the city doing it, but it's the community and them having input as far as the, the look and the like of the letters and the placement of it as well. You're going to see the crews working on the actual signs for the next day or two. But then come Thursday, Detroit Edison is going to be coming by and putting lights in these to make sure that the welcome everybody gets here is a good one day or night. In Detroit, Rod Maloney, Local 4. All right, Rod, the sign we just saw, by the way, sits at eastbound I-94 near Proctor in southwest Detroit. But other signs are going to go up in places like I-75 at 8 Mile, I-96 at Telegraph, and the Southfield Freeway at Ford Road.